Hi friends, how are you? Hope so. You all will be okay and fine. So, dear friends, you are watching your favorite channel, History of World. Today we are gonna learn ten words meaning English words meaning which are very very necessary for our English conversation. So let's get started. First, rhetoric. Rhetoric means language that is elaborate. For example, if someone does not stop the political political rhetoric in that country, a civil war is likely to break out soon. Secondly, there is a word envisage. Envisage meaning to conceive an image or a picture. For example, I envisage that this New Year's evening will be delightful occasion. Number three, mood. Subject to debate. For example, since the judge has decided the child will live with her mother, the custody argument between the parents is moot. Number four, impetus. Impetus meaning increased activity in response to a stimulus. For example, the approaching deadline gave impetus to the investigation. Number five, rebuff. Rebuff meaning to snub, reject or refuse. For example, unfortunately I have to rebuff your expensive gift because we hardly know each other. Number six, felicitation. The act of expressing joy. For example, heartiest felicitation to you on your success. Number seven, jilted means to deceive or drop. For example, she is as upset as a jilted lover over Cunin's attitude and I am afraid she is going to do something irrational. Number eight, swoop. Swoop means to make a rush or an attack with a sudden sweeping movement. For example, the morning's event followed three arrests after police swooped on homes across the district in the series of raids yesterday. Number nine, rain sick means to search through something thoroughly and often roughly. For example, police were reminded that the constitution requires warrants before they may enter and rent a home. Number 10. Linger. Linger means to persist or continue especially in the mind. For example, the school bus will not linger so it is important you arrive at the bus stop on time. So guys, these were 10 words for today. So I, re I advise you to remember to learn these 10 words so that you could improve and boost up your vocabulary. You know, word power is the most, most important part of con English conversation. So see you in my next video. Okay, bye-bye.